Hello again, AI Nexus. Check this out. AI used to clone your voice. Yep, that's what OpenAI dropped on us here recently. But it's what they said along with that announcement that has me ever so intrigued. Archie here, your guide to the world of AI. Altman announced it's not ready to be released to the public, and that's not because it's not ready. No, oh, no. It's ready and it's insane. But because it's too dangerous to release to the public. Oh man, oh man. Let's get into this. Wait till you see what this thing can do. And we'll address why they think it's too dangerous to release. I'm curious to hear what you think. OpenAI calls their new product Voice Engine. Voice Engine is an innovative technology designed to create lifelike synthetic speech that faithfully replicates a specific individual's voice. Using just a brief 15 second audio sample of the target voice, Voice Engine can produce remarkably realistic vocal imitations, capturing the nuances and intricacies of the speaker's voice with remarkable accuracy. All right, here's a teaser from the website. Check this out. You simply load up a reference voice like this, and then Voice Engine captures the voice, and you can give a text prompt to say anything you want in that identical voice. For example, Voice Engine was prompted to say the following text. Some of the most amazing habitats on Earth are found in the rainforest. A rainforest is a place with a lot of precipitation, and it has many kinds of animals, trees, and other plants. This story has been told and retold for thousands of years. What is the central message that it is teaching? That, ladies and gentlemen, was not his real voice. Couldn't tell the difference, could you? Starting to think about if this got in the wrong hands? Hang tight, we'll get there. One of the standout features of Voice Engine is its ability to generate speech in multiple languages, transcending linguistic barriers and ensuring seamless communication across diverse audiences. Furthermore, Voice Engine is adept at translating the unique style and cadence of the speaker, ensuring that the synthesized speech retains the authentic essence of the original voice. Here's an example. Here's the reference voice. Friendship is a universal treasure. It brings joy, support, and laughter into our lives no matter where we are in the world. And here is that same voice in French. L'amitié est un trésor universel. D'où que nous venons, elle apporte joie, soutien, et rire dans nos vies. Or in Mandarin, even. 友谊是一种普遍的财富。无论我们身在世界何处，它都会给我们的生活带来快乐、支持和笑声。Voice Engine holds immense promise across a multitude of applications. In the realm of reading assistance, it can be leveraged to generate natural-sounding voices for audiobooks or educational materials, catering to children or individuals with reading difficulties. Moreover, Voice Engine has the potential to serve as a tool for voice restoration, offering a lifeline to those who have lost their ability to speak due to illness or injury. And honestly, the product is already insane. But the fact it can help restore lost voices is life-changing. Check this out. Here is the person's current voice. Hi, everyone. This is what my voice sounds like using open AI new text to speak smile. Then you provide voice engine the reference audio. When you have all of your ingredients together, you are going to put the chopped broccoli and chopped banana peppers inside the bowl. And then it gives you the ability to restore your voice using Voice Engine, like this. Hi everyone, this is what my voice sounds like using OpenAI's new text-to-speech model called Voice Engine. I was able to use just 15 seconds of a video that I made for a class project to be the reference audio source for the voice you hear right now. What do you think? Additionally, Voice Engine opens doors to personalized experiences, enabling the creation of custom voice interactions tailored to specific individuals. In various industries, companies can harness Voice Engine to craft bespoke voice experiences, such as targeted advertising campaigns utilizing a customer's own voice, thereby enhancing engagement and fostering deeper connections with their audience. Archie here again. All right, so you've seen what it can do. Now, do you agree with Altman and OpenAI's stance that it's too dangerous to release? OpenAI's hesitation to release Voice Engine to the public stems from a multitude of potential dangers that demand careful consideration. Let's uncover the concerns they've called out. Firstly, the specter of misinformation and deepfakes looms large. The capability to craft realistic voice clones could spawn a deluge of fake news or deceptive recordings, such as impersonating public figures to sway opinions, jeopardizing trust in media, and undermining the integrity of public discourse. 
Secondly, the potential for malicious applications poses a grave threat. Voice Engine could be exploited for scams, harassment, or financial fraud, exemplified by scenarios where individuals receive threatening messages mimicking authoritative voices or fall victim to impersonators seeking illicit access to personal accounts. Ethical quandaries further complicate matters. Questions regarding ownership of generated voices and privacy rights loom large. The ethical implications of utilizing someone's voice without consent, coupled with concerns about future identification based on voice samples, necessitates careful deliberation and safeguarding of individual rights. Moreover, the unpredictable nature of emergent technologies underscores the need for caution. OpenAI acknowledges the possibility of unforeseen consequences accompanying the widespread deployment of voice engine. A prudent approach allows for thorough assessment and mitigation of potential misuses before broader dissemination. In essence, OpenAI's decision to withhold the release of Voice Engine reflects a commitment to ensuring that its benefits outweigh the risks. By collaborating with trusted partners and undertaking rigorous assessments, OpenAI endeavors to develop robust safeguards and ethical guidelines to navigate the complex terrain of synthetic speech technology responsibly. But at the end of the day, OpenAI can't withhold this product from the general public forever. Their mission is to bring AI solutions to humankind and improve life as we know it. This will, at some point, but we don't know when, will be released to the public. So that begs the question, do the pros outweigh the cons? Do the benefits Voice Engine brings to those who may have tragically lost their voice outweigh the dangers that this tool could bring if this was put in the wrong hands? That's a question for you to decide, and we want to hear you. Drop your thoughts in the comments below. With that, until next time, Archie out.